All right, guys, so we got Bill from A Blast here today. This guy rocks. He is going to be sandblasting our columns today. So we've got all of our columns. I think there's 13, 14. He's gonna get these all sandblasted for us, get all that rust off the surface, like brand new metal. And then later today, we are going to be rolling some epoxy on these to seal them up. These should be made in a safety car. Like blaze orange or green. Stay away from the guy with the helmet. So that's feeding you fresh air. I can't hear you. And he's telling me, get out of town. Holy fuck, that thing's black. I should have these on, I guess. Alright guys, we have got a little bit of time left today and we've got 14 columns that need to be painted with this Sherwin-Williams Macro Epoxy 646 two-part epoxy. I gotta figure out how to get these lids off. I've never had to do that before, but um, I'm sure I can figure that much out. I can already smell the goodness. See, when I was a kid growing up, my dad worked at a... Wow, that came off really easy. When I, when I was a kid, my dad worked at a, a printing company. That acetone smell or whatever it is in that ink for a printing press, if I smell that smell, which is the only smell it in a printing shop, but if you smell that, if I smell it, man, it just brings me back to when I was, you know, six years old and, and running around a printing company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There's like certain smells in life and it'll bring you right back to when it happened. Like, so what I did is I went and got three different mixers. I got two of these for the five gallon pails. What you don't want to do is mix this one and I don't want to stick it in the other pail and mix that one with the same one because then I'll contaminate the other one and I don't know if it'll kick or... Okay. All right guys, exciting times. Stuff is happening. It happens kind of slowly, but stuff is happening. We have got some structural steel going up. We've got our columns going up today. Yesterday we did get them all epoxied, got all the paint on them, had enough time to dry. There's only a couple of things that we got to touch up on them, but everything turned out absolutely freaking perfect. Um, and now we're setting beams. So here you go. We got, we're just gonna be setting nine today, but it's gonna look like we've actually got something done, so. Check it out. No freaking way. You know, I thought that adding stuff... Look at these beams. Look how freaking tall they are. These beams are... Well, I think they're nine foot six. So I thought that when we started bolting stuff in, that this would make things look smaller, and it doesn't. It's starting to make this thing look monstrous. We may have overdone it. You guys, today is exciting day we are setting beams on top of our columns it's gonna to start to look like a structure today this is getting exciting it's a beautiful morning we got Wally got the neighbor coming over and we're hopefully safely efficiently gonna get these beams set last night we got everything all level we're gonna start setting beams so we're gonna enjoy some coffee this morning and hopefully get to work here pretty quick. 
So I'm not experienced with operating machine, but I've been getting pretty good over the last couple of weeks. And we're lifting something, you know, 20 feet in the air that weighs roughly 1,500 pounds and would crush you like an ant, so. Well, watching you put the containers down is quite the feat. This is a dangerous deal, so. Woo, here we go, baby! So guys, we are setting the steel today for the mezzanine. We have eight beams to set today and our all the structural steel that goes above the first level is going to be done, which means we are going to be ready for the four containers to be craned in. So it's a big day, it's an exciting moment to get this steel up so we're just trying to figure out the process of this jigsaw puzzle of how these go up the issue we're running into is we've got all eight beams and they all tie into each other so we have to get the correct ones in first so that we have something to tie to on both ends I can't believe Wally did this to me. Just a little setback. Just a little, little tiny setback, but he's fixing it. He's... This is what we had to do. We had to grind that down. We grind that down and Wally's gonna weld it to there and then we're back on the gas pedal and we're gonna finish this up. So we get to see a little welding today. to do it's up here we got a little we have a little touch up to do so we got um, we're gonna basically hit that with a rattle can dust that up there paint it so that it dries quick we'll run to town screw around with uh, a little bit of windshield work and then we'll come back and we'll finish hanging these beams so Wally thank you thank you thank you the way I understood it is I have a 100% a warranty lifetime warranty so anytime I need Wally to weld anything, he just said, I'm, I've got the, the bat phone number so I can call him and he just, he just drops whatever he's doing. He takes care of me. What a guy. 
<laughs> no. All right, we'll see you soon when we finish the hanging these beams. Got some crazy stuff going on. Tomorrow is crane day. This is, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. We are just getting ready to line up all of the containers, try and stagger them and get them somewhat ready for the crane to pick them, to set them up on the second level up there. That crane operator, the crane and the operator uh, bill is $240 an hour and $280 an hour after three o'clock. So they're coming at 11 and I wanna make sure we're ready. I wanna be as organized as we can so that he's here for as small amount of time as possible. We have got everything bolted down to, every bolt here has had to be tightened down to 250 foot pounds. So I got this big, torque wrench it's like four feet long from a neighbor of mine farmer Bruce thank you very much uh, but he let us borrow that so I didn't have to go purchase one doing stuff on a budget borrow tools borrow 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 take care of their stuff it'll help but uh, we've got get you out of the sun there we've got still have all this the supports left in these two containers that we are going to be taking out soon what I figured is is there is no reason that they can't be left in there and it probably be helpful until we get everything of the structure set and welded in then take these center supports out of here once that happens the cuts on the side of the containers where we had uh, this is the one corner we had to cut out but if you take a look at that handiwork by me woohoo look at that money Everything here has been bolted down to 250 foot pounds. We've been dreaming this up for nine years. That's a long time to wait, to wonder, to anticipate, to, to be patient. That's a really long time to see something that you've had in your head for that long in real life. And tomorrow is the day, so I need to watch where I'm going. I'm happy. I'm super excited. And tomorrow is crane day and we're going to have our full structure. This is, this is going to be amazing. I'm feeling like we're not going to be in this by snowfly, but we're going to keep trying, keep trying and whatever we can get done, we can get done. And uh, we don't have a choice. We're, we're in it, in it to win it. <laughs> 